Hello everyone, welcome to Beginner's Biology. In this video, let's discuss about organotypic cultures. The organotypic culture basically involves the combination of cells from different lineages in a determined ratio to create a component of an organ. So basically what happens is the cells here of different lineages interact with each other on the metal grid as they interact in an organ and they create a component of an organ. So for example, on the top figure it shows that the fibroblasts and the tumor cells interact with each other to form a structure of an organ on the metal grid. As I have mentioned earlier that the organotypic culture contains cell of different lineages and with the advancement of the organotypic culture it is now possible to develop certain tissues or tissue models using cells of different lineages. Now let's see the advantages of organotypic culture. In organotypic culture it involves the three dimensional in vitro representation of an in vivo environment. They preserve the basic structural and connective organization of the tissues and organs. So based on these two advantages as discussed, the organotypic cultures are found to be more advantageous over organ culture and histotypic cultures. Let's see the tissue models till now that are developed using the organotypic cultures. They are skin equivalents that have been created by co-culturing dermis with epidermis using collagen. The models of breast and prostate cancer has also been developed along with the model of lung. Thank you. Thank you for watching the video. Kindly comment in the comment section and tell me which biology topic you want me to go over with. If you like the video, hit the like button and share it. For more content from beginners biology, turn the notification symbol on. Thank you.